Hello and welcome to yet another Android programming video. This is the third in the series. So far we have managed to create a screen, we have drawn the player, we made him be affected by gravity. We also managed to make him jump by pressing the screen. And the only condition is that he's standing on the ground which we have around here. We have also changed the background color to the color CM. What we're going to do in this video is that we're going to create some coins that the player will be able to collect. It may sound simple enough, but we need to animate it and we're going to make it move. We will also have to make sure that we can display multiple objects of this coin at once. So, let's get started. We're going to start by creating a new class. We're going to name it simply enough, coin. We're going to do as we did with the player. We're gonna make it take the parameters game view, bitmap BMP. We're gonna say float x and float y. We're gonna import the bitmap. Import bitmap. And we're gonna define some of the variables. Alright, float y. Bitmap BMP. I'm gonna make it private that too. Private. And our game view game view. Also gonna make that private since we're gonna have multiple prod objects. We're also gonna need some more variables. We're gonna call something current frame. We're gonna make it then we're gonna make that one a, a double. Private double current current frame a double this means that it can both contain decimals and whole numbers we're gonna set it to zero we're also gonna create two, uh, one new variable called private int m column width and we're gonna set this to I don't really, I'm not really sure what we're going to set it to yet before we have draw, drawn it. But basically it's going to be the variable of how many frames we're going to have for the coin object. So I'm pretty sure this is all we need so far. So we're going to define the variables. We're actually going to change, see if we can change float to double. Place all, there we go. We're just going to do it like we did in our player object. Really fast. <laughs> there we go. We're going to set our X speed, which is going to be how fast the coin is going to move across the skin. We're going to set it to zero from now. For now. We're also going to have a public void update, like we had in the player. I'm just gonna be type x plus x speed a capital S private double x speed and of course we're gonna need a on draw method at the canvas import the canvas we now have we now have our our really really basic coin. We're gonna check public update. Every time we're gonna add the frame by one, which is gonna change the sp sprite for us. So it's gonna update the frame of the coin. I'm gonna get more into that later. Let's see current frame. M current frame plus like M1 and then if it exceeds our M column width it's gonna go back to zero again. <laughs> Let's get into drawing a little coin object. Let's see we have paint. 
So it's time to draw our little coin. We're gonna make it have four frames. So we're gonna divide our six the next sixty four square as our rectangle into four parts. We're gonna make one here. One at thirty two. One at forty eight. I'm gonna make the front of our little coin. Make sure that it tu just touches the border. Let's just see how it looks at 100%. Yeah. I'm gonna have the front side, the back side of our coin here. Just gonna see if it's gonna. about that it's gonna be over here yeah now it's gonna work and we're gonna create an image of the play the coin spinning or it's halfway through its spinning process and um, not sure what has happened there we go so we have one, we're gonna set it three in. So we're gonna set it here. It's one, two away from that. I think that's gonna be about right. Let's see, one, two, three. Three pixels from the left border and four three pixels from the right. Yeah. And we're gonna make it the same color as our coin. For a better effect you would have to make more frames of the coin spinning, but I'm not going to do that right now. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, by the way, if you're using paint, make sure that you remove all the white from the image before you start editing it. Or else you're going to have a white background on, on your image, and you might not want that. So let's see, I'm just going to be somewhat eager and type my initials on this little coin. Now we're not going to make it black. We're gonna, yeah. Let's make it somewhat darker. L for Linus. And G for Granat. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, let's save that. At our project location in the resource folder. And let's run a game, resource, medium DPI. And we're gonna call it coin. There we go. As you see, we have four frames, and we set our what's it column width to four because we have four frames. Wait a minute. Yeah. And we're gonna have to take this to minus one. Sorry about that. Because if it is four, it's gonna count it as five frames, and it starts since it starts at zero. So if we have four. And column width is equal to four minus one. It's gonna have four frames. And I'm gonna create a variable called private int width, and the width is gonna be equal to the bmp dot get width divided by m column width. If we wouldn't do this, the width of the coin would be equal to this whole rectangle, 64 pixels, and we don't want that, we want it to be around 16. So what we're doing is we're dividing 64 by 4, which is our column width, and that is equal to 16. And that is the size of one coin here, one frame. And column... Yeah. 
capital W. And our on raw method is going to be a bit different from our player. And I'm not entirely sure how I did it, so I'm going to go ahead and look in my other project. In source X. Ah. I'm going to start off with a variable called in source X, and it's going to be the current frame times our width. So basically, this is going to be the start position of the X where we draw the player from. So if our current frame is equal to 1, it's going to be 1 times 42. That's going to be the start position. Times 16, sorry. That's the width of one image. That's going to be the start position is going to be 1 times 16, and it is, of course, 16, so it's going to start here. And it's going to draw 16 squares over. So it's going to draw all the way here. So it's basically going to draw this image. And if it's the current frame is equal to 2, it's going to start over here. 2 times 16 equals to 32. And that's the position here. All the way to 48. And so it goes on, and when it's get to 3, it's going to address, and when it's get to 4, it's going to go back to 0. 0 times 42 equals to 0, so it's going to start here, and draw this image. I have to split up this video into two parts because it became way too long. It was close to half an hour, so sorry about that. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer that I talk while I code and program? Or do you prefer that I first program and record everything, and then I speak and add audio? Please leave a comment below on what you think.